What's up, guys? We're here for some more wrestling otaku nonsense. So today, I wanted to talk about Yo Man. And that is the alternate personality of wrestling otaku. He uses it on his Fortune 4 Shooters account and pretends that it's not him whenever he wants to say something that he feels is just too risky for him to say himself. And he uses this, this terrible cartoon and a text-to-speech app to make these videos with Yo Man. So I was clicking around Google, finding out some things, and I found the Facebook page of Fortune 4 Shooters. And I found this post from over three years ago of wrestling otaku continually pretending that it's not him because he has an email address that's associated with him that is different from wrestling otaku's. So it's just very clear evidence that this isn't him because he thinks that we're all fucking stupid and he's just the smartest, most manipulative person in the world getting it over on everybody. So that's where we're at with Yo Man. It's his alternate personality that he pretends is not him to post to his Fortune 4 Shooters account. Now, in case you had any question about how this account acts, it always makes sure to praise Otaku and tell him Otaku's got his blessing to say whatever because he really thinks that we're gonna believe this is someone else. So he spends his time posting video after video after video after video of this Yo Man character apparently trying to be some great big anti-troll but really, he's just attacking anybody who talks mean about him for being a disgusting person. It's just some extremely Cyraxian behavior to do this shit for so long and be delusional that people actually buy into this bullshit. So if you're wondering, wrestling otaku, why people compare you to Cyrax, say you're delusional, say you're playing games like a child. This is the kind of stuff they're talking about. This is not adult behavior. This is what a child does because they want to play child games on the internet. But thanks for watching guys. Have a good day.